spoken English. English is very simple to speak. Hence, it became worldwide popular. Let us see. Let us see what is special in general educational institution. So now we are going English. to learn clauses. You must know something about clauses. Actually, uh, first of all, you must know what is a word, then a phrase, then a clause, then a sentence. So. Before knowing about clauses, we must know what is a phrase. Today, students, so before knowing the clauses, we must know what is a phrase. Actually, a phrase is a group of words. You know a group of words? It is a group of words which gives long meaning, but it will not make complete meaning. Okay? But there is a difference between a phrase and a clause. A clause has a subject and a verb. But a phrase does not have a subject and a verb. So let me give you one example of a phrase. Like you can say, okay, permit, sir. we are learning phrases. Then we will come to know what is a clause. So phrase, let me give you some example of phrase. Like, So this is a phrase under the table. Under the table will not give you a complete sense. You cannot say it's a sentence. You can also not say it's a clause because here you are not getting a subject or a verb. It will give you some sense under the table. Under the table means it gives us some meaning. So it's a phrase. Do you know, is there any subject here? No, no subject is here. The earth moves round the sun. The earth moves round the sun. Okay. So here, what is the main clause? The teacher told me. The teacher told me. Okay. So the subordinate clause starts from that because that is the joining word. Right? That the earth moves round the sun. That is the subordinate clause. Is it a noun clause? How could you know it is a noun clause or not? By asking what? By asking what? The teacher told whom me? Told what? What is the whole part of the sentence? The teacher told what? What means? That the earth moves from the sun. So this part gives the answer to what? That means it is working as a noun. So it's a noun. You understand or not? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, very good. So now we have clearly understand what is a noun class. Let's learn what is a relative class. Because this is another part of a subordinate class. So relative clause, I say the man who is sitting beside Rohit is not so smart. So let's learn who is sitting beside Rohit. This is the subordinate clause. And the first part, the man is the first part of the main clause. And the rest of the main clause is, is not so smart. So main clause has been bifurcated. One part is before the subordinate clause and the another part is after the subordinate clause. So the subordinate clause is here in the middle. It starts Please see more video clips and shorts to see more details about this institution.